Well, hello beautifuls and handsomes. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Love, Life, Relationship, Empowerment and Inspirational Harm with me, your host, Irene, the Princess of Hearts. Well, guess what? Today I've come to talk to you, the married, about how to improve your marriage. Um, do you recall the day you became a Christian? The Holy Spirit begins to give you power. With this power, you can improve your marriage. Ask me how. Do these three romantic building actions. One, give appreciation in a relationship or in marriage. Two, do kind actions. Three, complain less. Well, today we are going to talk about how to give appreciation in a relationship and what is the importance of appreciation in a relationship. Every husband or wife needs to hear, I appreciate the way you work hard to take care of our kids. Thanks for helping my mother. I appreciate the way you do it. Well, if we receive no appreciation, we feel hurt in the relationship. We feel unrecognized. We feel like everything is tight. We feel like things are not moving. We feel like our partners do not appreciate what we do. They don't recognize what we do that is good. Mm. Well, listen everyone, ladies and gentlemen, in private and in public, look for opportunities to praise your partner. It is very important. Give appreciation no matter how little you receive. Women tend not to give appreciation to their husbands. Maybe because they had a fight last night. They had a disagreement. Men, you could also do the same. You may fail to give appreciation to your partner in public and treat them in a way that is really not good. But it's always good to leave all that behind or leave it at home where it happened or took place. And when you're in public, you try to behave and give yourself appreciation so you don't show this to each and every one that maybe you had a disagreement in bed, you had a disagreement somewhere or somehow people may laugh at you. Well, a lot of people ask, instead of trying to say appreciative words, shouldn't I wait until I naturally feel like saying them? Well, my answer is here. No, don't wait. Give appreciation even when you don't feel like it. We must work at giving appreciation. We must not relax. You should continue praising. You should continue giving your partner a lot of appreciation about the good things they are doing. Appreciate them. Your selfish nature will always say, you receive little appreciation, so give little appreciation. That is too selfish of you. Do not allow your selfish nature to rule. Give appreciation. Give appreciation where it's due. Give appreciation not because you feel like giving appreciation, but give appreciation even if you don't feel like giving appreciation. There is something it adds to your partner. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for listening to Brave Words. Words for the ones with brains. You're with me, your host, Irene, the Princess of Hearts. Keep tuning in to the love, life, relationship, empowerment, and inspirational hub. See you again. Thank you.